Storage Grid 11.8 introduces support for Apache Kafka endpoints for bucket event notifications. Storage Grid previously supported bucket event notifications to SNS endpoints, and now Kafka is supported as well. In this demo, I'll be setting up and testing a Kafka endpoint for bucket event notifications. So now I'm logged into my tenant on Storage Grid 11.8. To configure the Kafka endpoint, click on Platform Service Endpoints in the sidebar, then Create Endpoint. We can call the endpoint Kafka. I'll go ahead and copy in the IP of my Kafka server. And now we need to enter the URN for the endpoint. Make sure it follows this format where this text can be anything you want, but this text must match the topic name configured on the Kafka server. My topic is named SG Demo. Click continue. For this demo, I'll be using anonymous authentication in HTTP but in a production environment, always be sure to use SASL and HTTPS. Once my endpoint is configured, Storage Grid will send a test message and validate the endpoint connection. Now we need to enable event notifications on a bucket. So I'll go to my demo bucket, go to the platform services tab and open event notifications. Click enable. This XML defines the event notification configuration. It'll send a notification to my Kafka topic when an object is created or removed in this bucket. Make sure that the topic matches the URN configured by your Kafka endpoint. The storage grid documentation contains more information on configuring event notifications. Now that Kafka event notifications are enabled on my bucket, let's upload an object and test it out. I'm going to upload a small demo object and then go ahead and delete it. Each operation should be sending a notification to my Kafka server. Now coming on over to the conductor console for my Kafka server, we can see the notifications have been received by the demo topic. You can see the initial test message that was sent when I initially configured the endpoint, as well as the notification for the object I put. It was called demo object.text, and then the notification for when I deleted the object as well. Thank you for watching.